All right, God bless you. Come on in. All right, hit those hearts as you're coming on in. Those of you on YouTube. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in, YouTube and Facebook. God bless you. God bless you. Come on in. Come on in. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Those of you on Instagram, go ahead and hit those hearts and have everybody join in with me. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody who's coming in. Thanksgiving to everybody. Come on in. I see you coming in all on Facebook and on Instagram. God bless you those who are joining on YouTube this morning. got a few minutes before we start with the word. Come on. He's good. Come on. Let everybody know you're on. Praise God for this Thanksgiving day. Somebody ought to tell God he's good. They're coming in. They're coming in. God bless you. You ought to open up your mouth where you are in your home and tell God thank you.
Get that family together. That's it. All right. Well, praise God today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this special Thanksgiving Day word and message. And I want to welcome all of you in here. You know God's been good. Go ahead and put that in your comments today and just let everybody know on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on, on, on Periscope that the Lord has been good. We thank God for another day that the Lord has indeed made. And I'll play a little bit of that later, but that is DJ Spivey. Uh, one of my favorite songs of Thanksgiving today. And I thank you for taking just a few moments. We're not going to be with you long, but we want to thank you for taking a few moments this morning to honor and thank God for another day that the Lord has indeed made. And I've been sharing with you all year that if the Lord has allowed you to come down to this point in this year, after everything that we have been through, uh, somebody ought to have some praise on their lips and some thanksgiving in their hearts. Because we have been through a year that none of us saw coming. None of us thought that we would be in a global pandemic this year. None of us thought that we would see 250 plus thousand people in our own country die with millions of people around the world being affected. But for some reason, and for somehow, God has allowed you and I to see this day. And for that, we say thank you. We know there has been a lot of loss this year, and so we want to make sure that we speak to those people who have lost loved ones this year, that we still serve an awesome and mighty God. And I want to draw your attention for the time that we share together. I'll be with you for just a few moments. Then I'll let you get back to preparing dinner for your family and gathering with your family as some of you are doing virtual Zooms with your family. Just for a moment, Psalms 34. is rich in my spirit this morning. And the Bible says in that place, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. For just a few moments this morning, I, I want to just put this thought on your hearts and minds, wherever you are in your home. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In obedience to God today, to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to all of you, my brothers and sisters of the faith, who have taken this time this morning to spend time with us in this virtual sanctuary. We want to thank God for this day. We want to pause in this moment to say thank you. To say thank you, Lord. We are not like the world where we would just say thank you 
in some abstract way. We're not saying thank you to some force in the universe. We are not saying thank you to some unknown God. For we know the God who we give thanks to this morning. And so that's why on our hearts and on our lips this morning, we can say unapologetically, on this Thanksgiving day, thank you, Lord. Thank you for, you see, gratitude is the key to expanding the things you want and desire in your life. The more grateful you are, the more God can do in your life and in your family. And David, who is one of the greatest psalmists to ever put pen to paper, writes in this Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord. David doesn't just stop there. He says, at all times. In good times, in bad times, in rough times, in dark days, I will bless the Lord at all times. That is a commitment of a true worshiper and praiser. That despite what life brings my way, and despite what I've been through this year, I have already made up my mind before COVID-19 hit our shore before thousands of people lost their lives, before pandemics ran across the world, before there was protesting in the streets, before presidential elections were made final, I had already made up my mind that I will bless the Lord at all times. And I don't know about you this morning, but hopefully, you made your mind up already that you will bless the Lord at all times. David says, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I, I don't know what's coming out of the mouth of other people. I, I don't know what is on their lips this morning. Some woke up complaining. Some woke up Grumbling, some may have woke up arguing and fussing and fighting, but my lips woke up early this morning with the thanks and praise of God on my lips. And I admonish you this morning, my brothers and sisters, if you haven't put praise on your lips this morning, don't don't allow the enemy to put worry on your lips, to put fussing and cussing on your lips, but allow the Spirit of God to put praise on your lips. The reason David writes this song is he knows that God has been good to his people. David writes this and calls all of the people who know the Lord to call on his name. See, it's one thing to praise the Lord on your own. That's why I decided to do this special Thanksgiving message because I know many of you are not gathering with large families this morning. Some people had to cancel their plans and, and, and not gather like they normally would. And some may be in that apartment by yourself and at home by yourself. 
it, it's one thing to praise God by yourself, but I, I thank you for allowing me to come into your home and, and into that apartment and, and into your place to, to help join you this morning in praise. David says this in this psalmist, we praise God not because we are compelled to praise him. We, we are not robots. We, we praise him out of the free will of our hearts. We are not forced to praise him. And I didn't come to praise him out of some habitual habit this morning. No, I came to praise God because I realize and I know you realize that God is worthy of praise. And if you realize that he's worthy of praise this morning, go ahead and put that in the comments and hit those hearts to let the other people in this virtual sanctuary know that you're not here out of habit, but you're here because you know God is worthy. You can go ahead and be a witness this morning that it was nobody but the Lord who woke you up this morning and who started you, as the old saints say, on your way. And you realize that with all of the strength that is in your body, with all of the vitality that you have in your life, that despite what you have been through this year, the Lord is worthy of your praise. So David here, yeah, my brothers and sisters, he issues, first of all, in this text, a call to worship. And that's, that's all he's doing when he says, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. He is calling on those who know the worth of God to come on in and worship him. Notice we are not gathered in the same physical space, but we're gathered in the same virtual space. And my brothers and sisters, what is required for us to worship God? Jesus helps us to understand that God is not confined to buildings. God is not located in brick and mortar. But Jesus told a woman at, at the well in John chapter 4 that those who worship me will worship me in spirit and in truth. Can I pause parenthetically right there because all that is necessary for praise and worship to go on in this virtual sanctuary is for you to worship God out of your spirit, out of the depths of your heart and, and to worship the true and living God, to worship him in spirit and in truth. But then David, secondly in this text, resolves to praise God continually. This ain't no just Thanksgiving Day praise that I have. This ain't just a, a November praise that I have. This ain't just a 2020 praise that I have. David says that I'm committed to blessing the Lord at all times and to continually keep his praise in my mouth. Now it's appropriate for us on this day to give God thanks. And I know many people will pause with their family to give God thanks. But David makes his boast in the Lord. David says, if I'm going to brag about anything this year, if I'm going to proclaim anything this year, I'm going to boast in the Lord. That I'm not going to boast how well I am 
or how much money I have or how good I got it. No, the boast will not happen in me, but I will boast in the Lord. David boasts, he says in this psalm, my soul makes boast in the Lord. In other words, what David is saying to us, brothers and sisters, is that all of me is praising God. Is that my mind is praising him. My, my body is, is moving in the rapid rate of praise. That everything within my being is praising God. David says, my soul makes boast in the Lord. Maybe this morning you need to boast in the Lord. You need to give God thanks and praise for everything God has done. David resolves to boast in the Lord and he gives praise and thank you. For what God has done. Thanks must be continual. Even though some of you have had a hard year. A hard two years. Some maybe an even hard three years. David says I'm still boasting in the Lord. Despite what I've been through. In this last month, what I've been through in the last couple of weeks, what I've been through in this year, I'm still boasting in the Lord. In other words, I'm still going to brag on God. There is nothing that the enemy can throw my way that will steal my praise. And David says, he has the ability to keep on praising God in the midst of all kinds of afflictions, in the midst of all kinds of hardships. And as I prepare to close this morning, my brothers and sisters, there is a time where we need to praise the Lord and to lift him up whenever we have been downtrodden. David says, so that the humble may hear and be glad. I know everybody hasn't had a fantastic year. I know everybody has had some difficulties and some hard deaths and dying in your family. But David says, the reason why we are praising the Lord, so that the humble can hear. That, 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 that word humble in the text means those who have been through some difficult days. The reason why we have to praise God so they can overhear the praise. So that they can pick up on the fact that even though you've been through difficult days, God is still on the throne. Even though you may have lost some loved ones, God is still in charge. Even though COVID-19 may have run rampant through your family, God is still a healer. And this is why the humble has to overhear our praise this morning. David closes this trilogy of praise by saying, oh, there it is. Magnify the Lord with me. That if you can agree that God is still on the throne, if you can agree that God is still good, if you can agree that God is still a healer, if you can agree that God is still a deliverer, if you can agree that the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting if you can still agree that the Lord is the Lord Almighty oh 
magnify the Lord with me. That's when the choir picked up the praise. That's when the psalmist picked up the praise. That's when the praise team picked up the praise. That's when the mothers on the motherboard picked up the praise. That's when the preachers and the deacons picked up the praise. That's when the people in the sanctuary, in the virtual sanctuary, picked up the praise. They heard David say, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. You have a role to help me magnify his praise in your home right where you are right now magnify his praise let the internet know that the lord is still on the throne let the internet know that god is still worthy of our praise let the internet know that he's still a bomb in gilead let the internet know that he is still a deliverer. He's still a protector. That he's still a mighty God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. I don't know where you are on the east side, the west side of the state. Whether you're in one state or the other, come on, magnify the Lord with me. Don't just sit there looking at your computer. Don't just sit there looking at your phone. Come on, magnify the Lord with me and let the praise of the Lord go up in Zion. Let the praise be heard in your house. Let the magnification of the Lord expand until everybody in the residence where you live know that the God you serve is worthy of your praise. Come on, thank him this morning. Come on, thank him this morning. Thank him for his steadfast love. Thank him for his grace. Thank him for his overflowing mercy. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us, that's you, that's you, that's you. And let us exalt his name together. In the name of Jesus, the Lamb of God, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Who is it to you? Go ahead and put it in the comments. Who is God to you? What do you want to magnify about him this year? Put it in the comments. What do you want the world to know about God this year? Put it in the comments. Go ahead and brag on God that he kept me in the midst of a pandemic, that he kept me in the midst of grief and sorrow, that he kept me in the midst of trouble and heartache. Go ahead and put it in the comments. Come on, magnify the Lord with me and let us Exalt his name together. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Somebody in your home, go ahead and say thank you, Lord. Go ahead and put those hands together in your home and give God praise. Give him honor. He's worthy of all praise and honor this morning. God bless your hearts. Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Come on, boast on the Lord. This is your time to boast on the Lord. Put it in the comments. Let somebody know who he is. This is your time to witness to the world. Put it in the comments. And let them know who God is for you in your life this morning. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Somebody on Instagram, say thank you, Lord. Somebody on YouTube, say thank you, Lord. Somebody on Facebook, say thank you, Lord. God bless your hearts this morning. Thank you, church, for being with me and allowing me to come into your sacred space this morning and just boast on God. Oh, magnify the Lord with me.
and let us exalt his name together. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This is Bishop Reginald E. Smith, uh, the Union Grace Church family. We love.